Hey there, I'm Cyber, uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do World Force Airship uh, Blind. So, I will go through the level once to give you a bit of an example of what uh, me doing this level looks like. To give you a bit of an impression of what uh, I'm going to be showing you today. Something like that. So, uh, a few basic things before I explain in detail how I do this. Um, if In case you're unfamiliar with how blind airships work. So basically, uh, in this game, you can theoretically go indefinitely ahead of the auto-scroller, because all platforms are loaded in right from the get-go. Only certain objects uh, are not loaded in unless the camera gets close to them. One of those things is star medals, and that will be a bit important for the first medal right here. So I will explain that once I get to it. But here's a bit of a little step-by-step -step ex explanation of what I do. Um, in this level, it's very important that you keep track of how many times you jump, or, or alternatively, in what state the flip swap platforms are, because you'll be jumping off quite a few flip swap platforms while you're doing the level blind, so it's important to keep track of your jumps. Which is also right away why I do that uh, jump right at the start, to set the flip swap platforms to a, a more desirable state. So once we did that, I, I'm gonna do two regular uh, twirl jumps to the right. <laughs> Alright, so once you've done two regular twirl jumps to the right, You'll be sitting on the flip swap platform with the with the first star medal. So as it is right now, you might already be touching the star medal, but you don't know it, uh, and you can't be uh, collecting the star medal right away because that the star medals are are objects that are not loaded in right from the get go unless the camera is close to them. So what you can do in order to get the medal as early as possible, you use the D pad uh, right or one of the camera or the right camera button on the top on the touch screen. To tilt the camera over to the right, uh, so the star medal comes uh, on screen earlier. So once you've got the star medal, you can continue with the level. You'll do two more twirl jumps to the right. And right there, what I do is I do a regular jump. Uh, I shift from r holding right on the circle pad to holding down right. Uh, and I do immediately do a wall jump off of the platform that I am currently standing on. Uh, and this is one of those few points in the level where the camera catches back up to Mario. Uh, which makes the next part of the strat possible. Because once again, star medals are only loaded in once the camera is close to them. Uh, and if this camera point wouldn't exist, the second medal would be impossible. But yeah, since it, since it exists, we can get it. So we're gonna go do that next. Uh, this section is pretty easy because you can actually see where you're going. However, it is important that you still keep track of your jumps because I do this section, for example, without jumping once. If you have to jump once, it's important that you just jump again. And ex obviously, except for the movement out of the little alcove with the middle, you do two jumps there. Still, you'll always have to be aware of how many jumps you do. If you have to jump once there, before you hop out of the alcove there, you just have to do another jump, and that will set the flip swap platforms back into the uh, correct position. So moving on with the strat, uh, I'm gonna you're gonna want to be up against the back wall here, because once you're up against the back wall, you can just walk off this platform and you'll be landing right here on this little ledge. And from here on out, I will do four regular jumps while holding right to get myself to the next spot. So, one, two, three, four. So right now, I should be right in front of the flip swap platforms of the next part in the level. Right here. So, from here on out, we'll do two more regular twirl jumps to the right, and then we're basically as good as done with the level. 
Um, what you can do after the next two twirl jumps varies a little. Uh, I will show off a bit of an easy strat here. You can basically just let yourself fall off the platform. Uh, and most of the time you will land up here. If you're a bit unsure if you will make it, uh, you can hold down right after the second twirl jump to kind of shift your movement a bit more to the foreground uh, to ensure a little that you maybe not fall off the back ledge there. But yeah, this is the hard part done. Uh, what you can also do from the platform where you would land in the uh, after the second twirl jump you could also do a, a twelve boost, which, in case you don't know what that is, we'll go down here to demonstrate. Um, is this? And how you do that is you do the same inputs for a twirl jump, except you let go of the crouch button before you perform the jump. With that way, you can immediately make it up here, but you will have to jump up here in order to scroll the camera. So if you landed somewhere, but the camera hasn't scrolled to you, you just uh, keep holding right, do one regular jump, and the camera should catch back up to you. You can still get the third star medal in this level, uh, which is not exactly relevant for warpless runs, because the medal is a bit slow, and it's especially hard to do fast. Um, but yeah, if you're running categories like special ending or 100%, where you will need as many star medals as you uh, can get, or you will need all of them, um, then this might be useful, because you can still obtain it after doing the level blind. Obviously, you could just opt to do the entire level uh, regularly, but in case you're doing it blind and you want to save some more time, this is a very, very interesting strat. So right there, it is important that you hold the camera all the way to the left. Uh, at all times by using the d-pad or something on the touchscreen, whatever is more comfortable for you. There is not a comfortable grip for this, trust me. It is just that weird. And it's important that you jump off like that, vertically. I didn't have much speed there, but I still made it. So you have to jump vert like uh, directly away from the camera. I hold up there to begin that jump because of the, uh, because of the perspective that you're in there. Um, you have to avoid the death, uh, the death plane, which is on the left side of the camera. Uh, which is another big part of why you have to hold the camera to the left at all times, because otherwise the metal would be off-screen, uh, and the death plane would be blocking you from getting to that platform anyways. Just to sum up once more, uh, I will just do the level once again in full motion, uh, and explain all the movement that I do as I go. I'm gonna start off with one regular jump, hold right and do two twirl jumps, flip the camera to the right, two more twirl jumps to the right, wall jumping while holding down right, dropping myself, not jumping once, two jumps to get up here, hug the wall, one, two, three, four regular jumps, two twirl jumps and a twirl boost to finish it off, to get up here, and that's that. So yeah, that's 4-Ship Blind. Hope this helped. Have fun.